these are the dangers of having yourself a single source of income. You know what they say? They say that an average millionaire has at least seven sources of income. And guess what? If you're out there, you only have one single source of income. You have dreams of, dreams of getting yourself rich or wealthy or, or achieving what we call the financial freedom. Guess what you're doing? You're just dreaming and dreaming and just having hope. And guess what we say? That hope is a good breakfast, but a poor dinner. So what are these dangers and what exactly can you be able to do or should do, or actually must do, so you get yourself at least multiple sources of income? And I'll give yourself a very simple example. Before I do that, guess what? I always post a video each and every day. And if you don't want to miss any piece of my good video, guess what I talk about? Tips on how you can make money online, tips on saving, tips on investing, and how you can go about it. If you don't want to miss any piece of my good video, this is what you to do. It's free and it's fast, doesn't cost you anything. Just down below there, there is a button, a black button written, subscribe. Hit that magical button and like this video, comment down below. As simple as that, YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a new good video. All right, so anyway, what, let me give you a very simple example. Do you know what happened in 2020? 2020, coronavirus hit the world. Not only in Kenya, but hit the world. Economies went into downtrend, and then you find people are losing their jobs and such kind of things. And imagine this. If you had, or there's some people who actually experienced a very tough times, all right? People who are having a single source of income, and then let's say you are working in a salon, a cosmetic, whatever. Maybe you're working in a restaurant, a bar, and all those eateries were closed. And that was the only source of your income. A lot of people faced depression. There was a breakage in marriages, relationships, and what have you. Remember one thing whatever we distort the financial stability even the social life is actually affected so well, those are just but examples of having yourself a one or single source of income now when i say having a single source of income is this what i simply mean is that let's say you're employed you only rely on that specific salary that you get at the end of the month that means that if something happened and for god's sake maybe you fall sick or maybe the job you get fired or maybe something just happened that you cannot be able to show up to that specific job that usually trade either your services or your goods and then nothing happens then in terms of income goes to zero then guess what happens you'll never be able to actually sustain your lifestyle so those are the dangers of actually having yourself a single source of income what you can be able to do or what you should do actually you must do for your sake or for the information is that you're supposed to look at areas on means on how you can be able to actually increase multiple streams of income and they say just like i said at the beginning of this video that millionaires or billionaires they usually have at least seven sources of income all right i know i don't want to i'm not telling you that you go out there and start investing in seven different things at the same time at the beginning no that is not how you do it you pick that one thing that you know it is very good and you understand it very well all the nitty gritties about it grow it at the same time as you grow that specific business empower people those people who have been employed in that specific place then sort of a resign quote and quote then let them run that specific thing try another one try another one and that's how you actually go ahead and try and invest in different areas this is what i would advise you maybe you're out there you're employed you do not have time maybe you're a nine to five kind of an individual and whenever maybe i tell you you can go ahead and invest in this area perhaps that one may not resonate well with you i have been interacting with guys who are employed into different companies then they're telling me hey you know what joseph yes i have money though it's not a much but at least I have something that I can start something. But the problem is this. I do not have anybody whom I can entrust with my business. My partner, he or she is employed somewhere as well. They are working their 9 to 5 job. So I do not know exactly what I can be able to do. You know what I always tell them? Yeah, I understand. That's a very typical uh, case, uh, case scenario for individuals who are employed. This is what I would advise you to do. Way before you actually go to your retirement, pick some areas where you can put your money and the money work for you. And let me give you a difference between those two things. There is a, something that we call a business and an investment. A business typically is where the, you work for the money. It's like you start something like a butchery, a salon, cosmetic, hardware, whatever that thing that you know that is out there. You show up each and every day to make sure that you earn your money and you get paid at the end of the day, month, week, or whatever the time you get paid. An investment, on the other case, is a where you put your money. Money works for you. You get either dividends or you get your what you call the capital gains and what have you. Or the value of that given asset appreciation then you can be able to liquidate it and get money or something of sort. So uh, one thing I would advise you to do if you're young out there or maybe you're old, maybe you have like 10 years to come to retire or something of sort, pick a thing that you know if you want to accumulate something towards that thing then by the time you're going to retire or maybe you can just pick any moment that you'd like to retire if you believe that you've created an enough portfolio that actually can earn you more money or equal money that actually sustains you in a typical month. What do I mean by that specific example? And on this channel of mine, I 
I have shared uh, thousands and thousands of videos about you picking any example of investment. And I'll just echo again what I have been giving out there. You can pick a money market fund. Uh, okay, money market fund, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an investment and a unit trust. We have others like bond fund. We have like a dollar fund. We have things like index funds and whatever. Okay, index fund is quite a different one. But anyway, those are examples that you can be able to pick and put your money out there and invest. If you're out there, your employees say you're a teacher, I bet by now you're already enrolled in a certain circle that usually get dividends. Well and good, you can actually move ahead in increasing your portfolio or you can diversify your income or rather your investments. The other thing that you can be able to pick if you're employed and do not have time, you can pick things like stock shares, right? You can show up in the Nairobi Securities Exchange, buy shares of a given company, of course a company that is performing well. You have a well background research about that given company. It is promising, has what we call the dividend shares if you're looking after the dividend shares if you are not looking after the dividend shares you can just go for a typical shares one that you can be able to be earning from what you call the capital gains all right so those are just but examples of where you can be able to put your, your money in terms of you investing and then money works for you get yourself what you call the passive income the goal is to make sure that you pull or increase that passive income to a where to a point whereby you able to actually if you are to get fired today you can be able to sustain your lifestyle using that specific passive income that you're earning out there or if this maybe sounds like a bit of complicated and something of sort how about you get yourself into real estate if the money and the financial muscle allows you to do so you can go out there and pick a real estate when i say real estate you can either decide buying uh you know lands and such kind of a thing reselling lands or you can decide to build and rent other specific houses or you can be able to actually go ahead uh build and uh, and, and, and and rent those uh, whatever and you get what you call the rental income and that kind of a thing you can as well pick what you call the rates in Kenya. Say you do not have that much enough money to go ahead and build your rental houses. How about you go ahead and pick up what you call rates. Rates is basically like shares of real estate. Okay, so you pick that specific investment whereby these are kind of companies that take money from investors. They invest that specific money in rental development, a commercial development, and such kind of a thing, or about real estate, and then they share you with you uh, the shares or what you call the dividends, rather. Okay, so the point is this. If you're out there, you're sticking to only that source of income that you're having out there. Perhaps it's paying you well. Maybe you're getting 100 Gs, 200, 300, 400, whatever the amount of money. Let me tell you one thing. There is no amount in terms of you being employed that can ever secure you into riches. Unless maybe you're a politician. And of course, you know what I mean by that statement. All right. So the point is this. It's always good to diversify your income portfolio. One thing, do not put, if I say money market fund, don't put all your money on the money market fund. If I say circle shares, don't put all your money in circle shares. If I say put your money in real estate, of course, don't put all your money into real estate. What you can be able to do is a diver excuse me, diversify your income, all right, or rather your investments. Pick one, two, three, four, five, and then from there, you can be able to go ahead and grow yourself, all right? The other thing that you can be able to do actually, uh, and of course maybe you've been hearing this thing like all the time is about the treasury bills and the treasury bonds. By the way, if there is an investment that is so much safe in any given country, I am telling you it's the treasury bonds and the treasury bills. Kind of national thing like which in every country, all right? So the point is this, if you can pick either of those, maybe you have your like 50 Gs, 100 Gs with you because a I bet that is basically the minimum that you need for you to get started with those kind of investments. So you can pick either treasury bills. Treasury bills, of course, you need like 100 Gs for you to get started. Treasury bonds, you need uh, 50 Gs if you're dealing with FXD or if you're dealing with infrastructure bond, you need a minimum of of 100 g's and above and guess what infrastructure bond actually right now as you speak uh, there is a prospector of an infrastructure bond i haven't actually checked whether it's out but uh it's a good one how about you pick and people are prospecting around mm, 14 15 around there so if you can go ahead and pick that infrastructure bond invest into it and you'll be getting what we call the dividends if you can get your rates each and every six months it's called semi-annually imagine getting that money into different times of, 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 of the year two times actually and guess what this is the, what i have seen as a trick that you can actually use in terms of this infrastructure or rather these bonds of the bids how about if you were to buy because these things are actually post out there in the central kenya central bank of kenya each and every month
month how about if you were to pick like um you know each and every month you say like if you have the financial capacity and anyway if you can be able to be picking each and every month university each and every month invest, you realize that one day you might be getting money each and every month that is the only way that you grow your portfolio in terms of investment you take yourself out there and actually earn money as you grow to the next level so the point is this guys make sure that you do not rely on that thing that simple single thing that you usually put out there and rely with it as your source of income diversify yourself and let me talk to this another group of people that don't want to hear about all those kind of shares by market this sounds a bit complicated for them fine let's put that aside let's now talk about the conventional way of investing or investing as you call it now the business is ones okay you can pick any business that you understand when i say any business i mean a business that you at least you've ever worked in that business or you have somebody whom you can employ in that specific business of course you'll be uh play what you call the managerial skills or rather the roles out there or you can pick that thing that you know very well you've been working in that area of maybe you studied that specific business and you get started in that specific business so the point is this Pick that thing that you know it's easier for you to be able to control it from wherever you are. It's not a complicated thing. It's not like you starting a shop. Can you imagine you starting a shop and then you're employed? You show up at the evening or very early in the morning. You cannot be able to actually, uh, what we call the accounting, what has been sold, what hasn't been sold, what's moving, what's not moving, and such kind of a thing. It's kind of tricky business, by the way. Another tricky business that I will tell you to be a little bit cautious, but it's okay, you can stop. But be a little bit cautious is about restaurants and the hotels. Uh, we call them hotels in Kenya. We actually don't even know the difference between hotels and whatever. You're dealing with food, you're cooking food, and you're selling it to people, all right? That thing, that's very complicated. The other one is a Uber business, uh, be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, what do we call, be, uh, do your own research, the due diligence before you get starting with these kind of businesses, all right? So what I can advise you, what makes you pick a certain business, not the other? Just listen to the ground, look what the ground dictates, what does the market say, what is it looking after, and then from there, you can get started with that business. This issue of saying that I want to start a business that I'm passionate about. Remember one thing, you're not the customer that you're going to buy in your own business. You're selling to people who actually don't care, do not even mind, do not even care about that thing that you passionate about or you're not passionate about are they getting value for their money are they getting quality services or products that you're selling that what cares and that what matters to them and that's the reason as to why they bring money to you so those are the factors that you're supposed to consider before starting any given business and by if i was to name businesses of course you can be able to them a lot of them there okay so first of all you have to understand that our country is a developing country of course things to do with construction infrastructure and what have you growth and food those are things that really matter especially food right now uh, when i say food we can talk of cereals we can talk of those kind of a things so uh pick up a thing that you know can actually well and resonate well with you from wherever you are because different areas resonate with different things it's like you can't be able to take cereals to the ushago where people are uh, you know they are doing the farming and whatever of course you don't expect to have a lot of customers there because those people are actually growing whatever they eat but if you were to take that specific business towards the towns where people are not planting or farming or something of, of course these things you need to be a little bit smart before you get started anyway guys you know what i do have booklets about business plans i also have individual business plans for only 280 shillings how about you pick a copy to get started with it i also have booklets about investments like just what i've said money market fund treasury bills bonds and whatever all those kind of things and how do you get them simple take my number from the description of this specific video uh-huh take it give me a call or you can give me a text or rather on the whatsapp then you can be able to get your copy if you're the first time watching this video my name is joseph talk about money investment anything related to exactly that if that's a copy of coffee then consider this place a home by subscribing liking and also commenting down below and see you in the next one and don't forget make sure